What are we going to cover in this video? The first part, I will show you the actual stance itself. Then after that, I will break it down and I will show you how to practice it and learn it. So, if you're ready, let's begin. Pause stance, Jukum Sogi, which can also be called riding stance. Horse dance, here comes Soggy. The best way to learn the horse dance is starting from the close dance. So we get into the close dance, feet together. And when we go into the horse dance, you always step with the left leg. We're going to step with the left leg out two feet lengths in distance. So one, two. Approximately, as I said, it's two feet distance. Our feet are parallel facing forwards. We're then going to bend slightly at the knees, sitting down. And we're trying to keep from the knee to the foot. This is as straight as possible. You're not trying to go forwards. You're trying to keep that as straight as possible. And you're sitting down, bending from the knee up to the waist. Back is straight. Okay. The weight ratio is literally 50-50 between the two legs. From here, we tense the stomach, the abdomen, and we, on the inside of your knees, that's where you're trying to, you're putting the pressure inwards, not outwards. We're trying to put the pressure inwards. So we're sitting facing forwards, face forwards, back straight, knees, sorry, the weight 50-50, knees, the pressure's going slightly inwards. And as I said, from the knee downwards to the shins is as straight as possible, not bent. And we're sitting down and we're ready. So we can be ready in whatever position we like. Once you've finished the exercise, when you always step back up, you step back up with the left leg, like so. And that is the horse dance. The horse stance is a very good stance for punching and punching drills. So if you ever want to use it at home, it's a very good for punching. So we're stepping out, we're sitting down, as we just explained, straight legs, bend at the knees, back straight, stomach tense, legs in, and you can just sit here. Sit here as long as you want. It's very good for strengthening the legs for kicking. You can do punching drills striking drills, blocking drills, whatever you want is very good at practicing. And just sitting here, strengthening your legs at the same time, and you'll get a very good workout by doing that as well. Now you have an idea of this Taekwondo stance. All you need to do is now go and practice it so you can keep building your own strong foundation. Below, somewhere in the um, left-hand corner here, is a link to the next Taekwondo stance video so you can go and learn and practice the actual stance. As always, thank you for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button below, somewhere in this uh, right-hand corner for yourself. As always, until the next time, Yamsa Henida.